Chapter 5 The Rats and the Gold Characters Merchant Friend Narrator Scene 1 Once upon a time, there was a rich merchant. He had to go out of town on a long journey because his sister was very ill. He had plenty of gold at home and was afraid that someone would steal it while he was away. So, before leaving, he went to ask one of his best friends for help. What a pleasant surprise. Come and sit down. You look worried. Is something wrong? Oh, my good friend. Today I received a letter from my nephew. My sister is very ill and I need to go and see her. Oh, I am sorry to hear about your sister. I hope she gets well soon. I will be gone for a few months and I wonder if you could do something for me while I am away. Of course. What would you like me to do for you? Could you please take care of my gold while I am away? You are my best friend and the only person whom I can trust. You know that. I am always ready to help you. Yes, I know the gold will be safe with you. Do not worry. I will put it in a strong wooden chest with many locks. No one will be able to steal your gold. And you can take it back once you return. Yes, as soon as I came back from my trip, I shall come to take my gold back. Of course. Where is it now? Here it is, in this bag. Take it. This bag is really heavy. I know. I am really sorry to trouble you so much. <laughs> what are friends for if they do not help each other in times of need? Thank you. I have to go now. Go with a peaceful mind and have a safe trip. I will pray that your sister gets well soon. I know. I am so happy to have such a good friend by my side. Goodbye. Scene 2 After a few months, the merchant returned home. The first thing he did was to go and see his friend to get back his gold. Hello, my dear friend. It is so good to see you again. Oh, you are back? How is your sister? She is fine now. Thank you. I am glad to hear that, and I am glad that you are back. Well, everything is fine now. Good to hear that, but unfortunately, I have terrible news for you. It's about your gold. What is it, my friend? Please tell me. As soon as you left, I kept the bag you gave me inside a strong wooden chest with seven locks. But I don't know that I had rats in my house. Can you imagine what happened? No, I cannot. Tell me. I'd kept the wooden chest in the cellar. But the cellar was infested with rats. They gnawed through the wood of the chest and ate up all the gold. They can eat almost anything. Oh, this is terrible. I am completely ruined. I feel so ashamed. It is all my fault. Do not feel guilty, my friend. It is all because of those rats. Thank you for being so understanding. You are so kind. Forget about it. Come to my house tomorrow. We will have dinner together. I will be there. See you then. Goodbye. Scene 3 You don't look too good. Is something that matter? Yes. I have suffered a terrible loss. My best horse has vanished from my stables. Really? But how could that happen? You are so careful and you always lock the stables. I looked for it everywhere and I haven't been able to find it. I even went to the forest. But it seems as if it has just disappeared into thin air. Is it possible? Maybe the owl took it away. What are you saying? 
Well, last night, I was looking up at the sky, and I saw an owl, and it was carrying a beautiful horse in its claws. That is nonsense. How can an owl carry an animal that weighs so much? Everything is possible, my friend. Remember that we live in a town where rats eat gold. Why are you surprised to know that owls can steal horses? Oh, you are right, my good friend. I feel so bad. I am really sorry. Please forgive me. I lied to you. I will give you back your gold, and I will give you back your horse. I fell into my own trap. Thank you for making me realize my mistake.